are demanding more energy than ever before. And with increasing costs of traditional energy sources like fossil fuels, scientists are on the hunt for renewable energy to provide enough power for humans' everyday needs. Recently, there has been a spike in the interest of tidal energy, essentially tapping into the ocean's waves and tides in pursuit of meeting the energy needs of humans today. Today we're at Beach of Rhode Island to show you what tidal energy is. Tidal energy has seen unprecedented development in using the Earth's tides for energy. But this technology has actually been around for a bit of time. Humans have used currents of water to make energy for thousands of years, starting with the Greeks more than 2,000 years ago. In the mid-1700s, Bernard Forest de Bellador, a French military engineer, wrote the book Architecture Hydraulique that illustrates different designs to capture energy using moving water. The first modern tidal energy plant is known as La Rance, and that opened up in the country of France. In the year 1966 is when it finally opened up, but it took six years to build the entire plant. La Rance can produce around 240 megawatts of energy, which is said to power about 4,500 homes in the area. There's no industry standard set yet for the production of hydropower, but many different countries have been experimenting within their resources to find the best design to produce the highest energy yield possible. However, when you break it down to a smaller scale, hydropower highly depends on three factors. It depends on current, turbine, and location. This diagram shows how Lorentz demonstrates using tidal barrage. A tidal barrage is a dam that utilizes the potential energy generated by the change in height between high and low tides. This energy turns a turbine or compresses air, which in turn creates electricity. As stated before, applications around the world have grown rapidly within the past decade. America has fallen behind, but countries like Europe and Asia have taken this opportunity to seek out alternate energy needs. A great application of this resource is South Korea, where the Shiwa Lake Power Station produces an astonishing 254 megawatt hours of electricity. Once completed, this 360 million U.S. dollar plant will supply electricity to half a million homes. Turning these massive turbines will be the changing of the tide. The daily surge is expected to generate 254 megawatts of power, about a quarter of the output of a nuclear power plant. With every form of renewable energy, you have to remember there's always a drawback. Hydropower is primarily all underwater which requires extensive construction. Often, when marine tidal plants are created, many underwater ecosystems are displaced. In Lake Shiwa, massive pollution, such as perfluoroctane sulfonate, build up behind the seawall, causing the water to be useless for agriculture. In a marine context, many reefs and sea lifes become displaced or often killed during the construction process. Environmentalists say while using tidal power is a good idea in principle, the plant could end up flooding neighboring mudflats, destroying the habitat of migratory birds. With that said, tidal energy is one of the best options to harness renewable energy. With further research and engineering, I believe that tidal energy can be done sustainably and effectively to pioneer energy for the future. Greeks more than 2,000 years ago. In the mid-1700s, Bernard Forest de Bellador, a French military engineer, 